It was a collision as big and fiery as we have ever seen on live television in a sports arena. First one, then five, then ten, then fifteen cars slamming, flying, disintegrating at the hugely popular IndyCar race in Las Vegas, broadcast by ESPN. And tonight we set out to answer a question being asked by everyone throughout this day. When so many cars crashed and caught on fire, why was a 33-year-old champion and father the one who could not survive. With answers, here's ABC's Josh Elliott. The huge crash. It was over in fewer than seven seconds. Involved. Racing's biggest fear, a massive, fiery, and fatal crash. Oh my. In an instant, the Las Vegas field reduced to fiery carnage that claimed 15 cars, including Dan Weldon's, who just this May was on top of the racing world, winning the Indy 500. It begins with just a slight jostling of two cars, which sets into motion a chain reaction that stunned even the drivers themselves. Instantly, four cars collide and are swept into the track's wall, raining fiery debris onto the course. The drivers of the trailing cars, traveling more than a football field's length per second, had no time to react, nowhere to go. And what happens in this, the perspective of Weldon himself, just before his 77 car hits the back of another and is sent airborne, along with two others, at the mercy of fate and luck. I had never seen in 40 years of racing an accident like that. Drivers likely survived the fiery scene because they wear fire retardant suits, reinforced helmets, and sit in foamed cockpits. The track second, itself enclosed by a shock absorbent retaining wall. Only Weldon's car struck above that crash absorbing wall, cockpit first. Anytime a car gets into the catch fence, uh, that is the danger zone. Catch fence really acts as a cheese grater and can really tear the car apart. Drivers were concerned about the racetrack. Short straightaways and steep turns, daring drivers to hurdle at speeds of over 220 miles per hour. Drivers like Danica Patrick remained virtually inconsolable. You'll be missed, and uh, I just feel for his family. A family that was at his side when Weldon passed, including his wife Susan and their two young sons, two-year-old Sebastian and six-month-old Oliver who lost their father, Dan Weldon, far too soon. And we've just learned the official cause of death, blunt force trauma to the head. One other note, Diane, Dan Weldon was helping actually to test a safer car, which will be implemented next season. But what's the lesson of all this, Josh, for the sport, for, for this track? This track in particular is not suited for IndyCar racing, which is much faster than NASCAR racing. It was too small, too crowded a track and it was blighted by one horrible stroke of the worst sort of luck.